glad you could all join us this evening. We're in Monterey at the McCall's Jet Center. I don't know what it's actually called. What is it called? It's called the uh, Motor Revival. So it's jets, it's supercars, and it's just a bunch of fun. But uh, let's go see what we can uh, explore. This is the plane that I'm having built. It's a Legacy 500 made by Embraer. And uh, the gentleman that's uh, sold it to me is probably inside. We should go say hello to him. It's gorgeous. It's a nice aeroplane, right? This color scheme? No, mine's different. Mine's kind of crazy. You know me, come on. What's yours? You have to wait and see. It's a year away, because it takes about a year to build, but, but uh, a little long, longer than a year, actually. But it's a great aeroplane, and the av avionics in this thing is insane. Let's go take a look. How are you? Is this my baby? This is your baby. Let's go in. I'm bringing my friend. This is Adam. How are you doing? And he's good to meet you. With your permission, he's gonna film my latest acquisition. Now's the time. It's empty. Let's do it. So this is it. Now this is the 500, but without the van. This is a double club. So it all did full disclosure. Mine's a little bit wilder than this, wouldn't you say? Yours will be a little bit, um, this is a little conservative. Yeah, so I'm having it all done in carbon fiber, which is pretty cool. And, and there'll be a, a couch on this side, right? A three place to van, three seven feet, feet yeah. long, that pulls out into a bed. So uh, yeah, this, this is it. And this is the guy that made it happen. And we're happy to have Michael as our customer. Are you really? Wonderful. This is a wonderful airplane. I mean, this airplane is way more advanced because I, I was looking at the Gulf Stream, I was looking at the Challenger, as you know, mm -hmm. and this is just so much more advanced in, well, in fact, you could probably explain it, right? We'll turn around. Let's we'll turn around. Take, let's we'll take go, a shot of the cockpit. Let's go up front and uh, you'll see it's very, very different. And I still haven't decided about the jump seat. That's okay. Can I uh, sit in the driver's seat? I'm up there. Okay. So this is the first airplane in this category to be 100% fly-by-wire. So there's no yoke. With side sticks. Oh yeah. It's like a fighter jet. Oh wow. Like a, actually it's like a uh, video game. So how many Very people nice. will this take? Well, the way that this one is configured, it's configured for eight here plus a I didn't flight fly. attendant. I from, from Los Angeles. I live in Los Angeles. But uh, and flight. there's also yeah, you can use the restroom as a seat if you wanted to. It's very comfortable. Look, come on in. So this is a regular seat. Uh, your seat belts are here, just regular, but it's also. Oh, a, a throne. A throne, yeah, a throne. And, and what's uh, through there? This is baggage. Okay. So oh, nice. There's, this is indoor baggage, yeah. in cabin baggage, and then there's exterior underneath baggage as well. underneath as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then you've got yourself a little, yeah. little vanity here. And there's a kitchen up front as well, which is which is really, really nice. Gorgeous. And again, mine's, mine's going to have a, a sofa here, a th yeah. three seat divan. Uh, which also turns into a bed. A bed wow. Which yeah. is a yeah, full bed. I mean, it's quite remarkable. And these are fully articulating seats. So if you sit in a, in a seat, um, these pop out and then okay, you, so can, you, can you can these little leg talk to pop out. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and you can you know talk to people. You know, it's, it's just beautiful. Uh, Gorgeous. Here's the table in tables in, in here. And the front line. And then it just pops out. Oh, nice. It's over. Yeah, that's uh, that's gorgeous. Pretty, right? Yeah, I love this wood. I do too, but, I know not, you're but, but, carbon, but, but not not for me. I'm. Yeah. No, you look at the, the detail here. The yeah. Leather, metal, wood. Yeah. And if you notice also the all way the that it, all of the mm -hmm. lines match perfectly. Yeah. Oh no, I mean the fit and finish is just. You look at the phenomenal. finishing work of how they they blended the edges of the of the veneer. It is gorgeous. And they also do this, it's beautiful. Um, you have the screens up here, which show your selections. Um, each seat also has the control, and then you get to see what's going on without having to change things. And the, the video monitors uh, double up as, as movie screens. That is it's absolutely stunning. Pretty cool, isn't it? Beautiful. What carpet are you going to have in yours? 
pretty wild carpet. Really? Yeah. Now, so, interestingly, so here's something that, that um, most people don't know. That a carpet in this aeroplane, it's only a small amount of carpet, is extremely expensive. And when I say extremely expensive, it could be this little piece of carpet here might be $50,000. And the reason for that is it has to meet FAA approvals and it has to be burnt. And uh, they, when I say burnt, they actually set fire to it to see how long it takes to set on fire, uh, what chemicals it gives off, etc. And it has to meet certain criteria. Uh, Doug will be able to tell me exactly. A custom carpet in a plane this size costs about how much money? It all depends on what you mean by custom, but it could easily be a uh, hundred thousand dollars. See, I said fifty thousand. So yeah, it depends on how how yes, how I custom do. you get. Yeah, it's not like putting you have in a house. You yeah. have wool. You have a wool and silk blend. It just really depends but on how elaborate you want to get. It has to be totally fire retardant. It has to be fire retardant, yeah, of course. And uh, it's a, it's a big deal. Yeah. Everything is a big deal. It's it's not. And what's know. the range on one of these jets? Three thousand two hundred miles. Which is from New coast York. to coast. Okay. All the time, and then one from the east coast across to okay. Europe. And also from California to Hawaii. Right. <laughs> California to Hawaii, also. That's kind of where. That was the design of the airplane, what it was meant to do. It's yeah. meant to be a transcontinental airplane. Mm -hmm. right? well, I can't wait to see it. But I'm in love with this. I mean, just looking at it on the ramp is amazing. Yeah. You look at all the other airplanes. Is it great where we were located next yeah. to the red carpet as you walked in? <laughs> you did that for me. I did. Lovely. Nice to meet you Lovely and congratulations. You thank you, thank you, thank you. Very excited. This is the kitchen, Adam. So just so you can see here, there's a sink inside here. How do you open this? I don't even know how to open it. Actually, yeah. Yeah. There's the, oh, wow. the, the glasses. In there's here. The, yeah. Where, where's the beer kept? Beer the beer is in here. Is, is. Or, or the ice in here. Perfect. Or that's the one I'm. You and your beer. You can put it. <laughs> we need a line down to the yeah. earth for <laughs> you with beer supply. So I don't drink it dry. Yeah, yeah keg. Yeah. yeah. Could, tapped all the time. Could we put a kegerator in, in yeah, one of these? We could fill one of the auxiliary fuel tanks with beer for you. <laughs> You'd like that. Perfect. Oh, okay. Pretty yeah. plain, right? It is gorgeous. I can't wait. I can't wait to get it. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, just tell me it's the largest luggage compartment in its class, actually. These are winglets. Yeah which are for increased efficiency on the climb out and in cruise. Yep. And this is the luggage compartment. compartments that are smaller than that. That's a big luggage compartment. Yeah. And guess what? There's no weight restriction. Take as many bags as you want and they can weigh whatever. No, but it is it's, but it's nice, right? You stunning. like it? I do. We'll have lots of fun with this when it comes. Yeah. So this is amazing. There's aeroplanes, there's cars. I mean, I guess these are, these are Gallardos, right? I can only see pieces of them. Gallardo, Gallardo. Performante is this? I don't know. Super, Super Trofeo. So we've found a little spot here that's a bit less crazy. And guess what? A ton of cars. What do we have? I recognize this. It's <laughs> mine without the stripes. Yeah. I love these wheels. I was just about to say there's something missing from the center of it. The center cap's missing. These are this on slicks. Yeah. I can't imagine it's uh, it's going on a track. I don't know. If it's on those slicks, it's got to be doing something special. But it's pretty cool. Look at all these here. These are these are like skittles. <laughs> What do you think of the Murcielago? I love it. Do you I, really? Yeah, I think I think they're crazy. Apparently they drive like they're You they can't say that word. Apparently they drive like beep. Yes. But there you go. They drive like beep. But they uh, they look great and they sound amazing. They do, but they're horrible to drive. I mean, they really are horrible to drive. They're still very inexpensive compared to all the other Lambos. So, are they? Yeah. I love the color schemes here. I mean, this is just beautiful. The orange, the blue. I like the pastel. Wait, blue. look at this spider here. Oh, really? Pretty yeah. cool. That's very cool. <laughs> and then a cheeky Aventador snuck in at the end. I didn't even notice it was an Aventador, to tell you the truth. Spectacular piece of history. Same thing though, doesn't fly nicely. They're a death trap, but absolutely amazing to look at. These are very, very, very thin. Don't touch it, but you can touch here. And you'll feel it, it's very I want to strange. touch here though, just it says I can't. It says hands off, don't <gasps> touch that. I didn't do that. 
No, this red is gorgeous. It is a beautiful colour. I prefer the orange. Do you? Yeah. Do you take the orange one, I'll take the red one. Deal. Because you like the 650s as well, I don't prefer you? the 650 over the 720. Okay. I've never come to terms with the styling of the 720. Yeah. I don't think you have either. No, I agree. It's I just, just like a very it. strange looking car. But it does drive well, it's, it's very quick. This is cool stuff. It is. I mean, this is such an amazing event. I don't know how well it'll fly with the flag on it. But you never know. There's to, uh, one way to find out. Closer yeah. look. These all, these all leak oil like the old Lambos. Yeah. I have a Lamborghini Diablo and it leaks oil just like this. <laughs> is that oil or fuel? Oil. oil. Watch out, that will drip on you. Look. <laughs> where the bombs live. Yeah. There's even bombs in it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah some bombs right there. right there, yeah. So it dropped bombs and it had uh, machine gun. You wouldn't want to mess with this thing. It has like and a machine gun. And this is uh, how you make sure nobody steals it when you park it. You lock, you lock it up. You lock it up with a... Uh, Those are 50 mil. Cool. Oh, here we go. This guy's got the. See? You need to upgrade me. I do need. Why, why can't I have this? I'm going to get you one. I'm going to get Adam a pulley. You have to pull me, though, while I'm going. No, no, no. That's not part of the deal. I'll get you the pulley. You have to find the person to pull you. What are your thoughts on these? I love the Ford GT. Do you? It looks like a spaceship. But I love how you can see through. I must admit, right I like the look. Look at the lights. Look how amazing the headlight configuration is. They are absolutely stuck. I love that Porsche. Do you? The Targa. The Targa. Yeah. yeah, I really do like that car. Well, someone's got it. Explain this car to me, the BMW. I don't understand it. It's a 17 mile electric range. Yeah. It's three cylinders, it's very slow. Yeah. Please explain it to me. Oh. Hold on, I'm going to take the camera. Explain it, Adam. I, I can't. They, they I, make, I can't either. Here, they, take the camera back. They make no sense. No sense. They look like a spaceship. I used to think that I liked how they look, but I actually don't. I'm going to film Adam Googling. He's oh, Googling. It's not a rough CTR, that's an old. Yeah. This is the new Continental GT. It's quite nice. What do you think? Let's have a peek inside. Nice car. It's actually a nice car. What do you think, Adam? It's pretty drastically different, isn't it? Yeah, here, take this. No, you film. No, no. You film. People love watching you they film. They do? Okay, <laughs> I'm going over here. I'm very erratic with the camera. I like the colour of this one. It's nice. And then next to it, this is money. Oh, <laughs> see, that was Adam who kindly pointed <laughs> the camera towards the car, because I guess I was pointing at the hangar. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Old Aston V8, lovely car. Dino over there. Yeah. Some nice toys. There are. Should now tell me about this. I, I, I really like this car. Do you like it? No? Why? It just, it looks awkward. Yeah, I've just, I've never been a fan. They just, they look too awkward. Ah, I like it. All right, should we go inside? Go and Let's see go inside. Let's see what's inside there. Inside things. Yeah. All right, I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to hear you in here. I have a feeling you're right. We could do some glamour shots. Right. So from this point out, because it's so loud in here, I'm just going to cut to a load of slow mo. Yeah, B -roll. slow mo, B roll. All right, ready?
guys, uh, sorry about the noise here, it's pretty crazy, but hopefully you got to really enjoy some of the scenes here, we had a blast. Uh, don't forget to go to producermichael.com, Adam will fill in all the info. You still have time to enter the giveaway, win that gold pendant with the diamonds, and uh, hit the subscribe button, you know that. Hit that, hit the bell, we'll see you soon. In it to win it. Do you like my jet? <laughs>